Hey there, everybody, and welcome back to Black Arrow Gaming. I'm Bob, back for another episode of Age of Wonders 4. Uh, when we last left Steve, well, he was dead. But that's okay, because Jormag is alive and well, and holding down the western side of my empire until Steve's glorious return in one turn. So, um, let's jump back into it. I'm, uh, I'm, I've got a few comments to go through here, but not quite, not, not a whole lot. Not as much as last week, so we should be able to get through this pretty quickly. Um, from Chris Lighthawk, the extra gold from Dust and Conquerors, which uh, counts as city income technically, um, would have been affected by the 10% Materium upgrade boost and presumably any other mod modifiers that would affect city gold income as well. So basically, the reason that my gold jumped by more than 300 when I got picked up Dust and Conquerors uh, here is because it gave me the 300 for the, the six dragons I'm at war with, but it also boosted it by um, an amount based on this upgrade. Cities that share a border with the Throne City gain 10% in all types of income. That includes the Throne City, and when it says all types of income, that includes the income that comes from uh, the Dust and Conquerors trait, which actually is counted as income in this city under domain, I believe, yes, plus 300. So that's actually getting modified to technically plus 330. Um, that's where the, the multipliers uh, come in there. So Metropolitan Society, it would be counted in there uh, as 30 of that, and then the other 28 is coming from just other things, so other sources of gold income. So yeah, that's that's where that, uh, that figure came from. Just figured I'd let everyone know, um, for any who are out there crunching the numbers. From N. Spalding, we've got uh, a good, good feedback regarding my cannons. I can basically keep them back further behind my front line. Um, than I have been. I've been trying to put the cannons like directly behind my front line, but because I have guided projectiles, they technically don't need to be unless I'm trying to really lure something out to come get me. Um, but as long as the cannons are behind my line, they can have a pretty good range and they can still accurately, I guess guided projectiles works on the cannonballs too. So I don't have to worry about hitting my own guys. That is some very powerful magic. We have homing cannonballs. Um, so yeah, that's pretty cool. Uh, I will try to remember that because, yeah, if enemies get on the cannons, they're basically useless. So keeping them away from the enemy is ideal. Um, it won't, I won't be able to use the, uh, control area target to, like, hit multiple enemies as easily, or to reach out and hit enemies with them, essentially, because that will hit my friendlies if I, uh, target ground that my friendlies are standing on or kind of, like, beyond. So I still have to be careful with that, but as long as I'm targeting enemy units directly, um, the cannons will work just fine if I keep them back a little more than I have been. Um, from Asser Storm, uh, watchers are immune to flanking. That is just a little mistake I made in, from the last episode, but I was in a battle with a watcher trying to flank it. Um, you can't flank those, so I just figured I'd throw that in there real quick. You guys probably, a lot of you probably know that, but it's something I routinely forget. Um, there's a number of units that actually cannot be flanked, and I always find myself confused when I am unable to flank them. And then finally from Emil Soderman, since uh, the dragon, the enemy dragon out west here, his breath attack is the comet one. It cannot be used in melee. That is very good to know because it means I can surround him and force him to move before he can use his breath attack. Um, so yeah, very cool. Uh, I will try to remember that going forward. I think that's... Uh, this guy, yeah, Boz, Boz, or Boz, 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 Zorkan, the Arcanist, yeah, that that guy. So, uh, yeah, as long as I'm fighting him, um, getting up in his face and giving him trouble uh, from using that um, is probably a good idea. And that's it. That's all the feedback from this week. So I'm going to uh, jump hmm. right back into it where I was. Uh, I think I was pulling these armies back north. We were trying to get everyone... Uh, when did I get that transmuter? I, I'm sure it was from an event or something, but I don't remember exactly what it was. But yeah, once I get these guys all back together, um, we'll be moving forward and trying to uh, go towards yellow up here. Um, and I do need to clear that off and turn this into a proper city, which I think I can do that now, actually. Uh, I'm at four out of five. I've got the Imperium for it. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. So that starts growing. 
Um, and yeah, can these guys move on this turn? Yes, they can. So I've got a decent army there. I probably really just need to drop one person or a couple people from that army. I definitely want to keep the transmuter in there, though. So uh, I just need to form an army for my new hero. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to be... I don't, I don't think I'm going to be able to go across the... Wait, did I get the thing that can drop mountains yet? Earth Shatter? Oh, yeah, I did, but Steve's in the void, so can't really use that right now. Um, maybe I'll bring my good armies down here and try to clear that oasis. As long as yellow isn't pushing me up here, I should have some advance notice. Yeah, I'm going to try to do that. Because I can't really push forward too much further with this mess behind me, especially if it's going to be spawning armies and going after my stuff down here. The idea is to consolidate the front line, so that's what I need to be working on. I do have more units being produced. Steve will be back shortly. I need to get another full stack out west, but I think I should be able to do that without too much trouble. Uh, Vegas could really use some more draft because this is where I'm going to be building all of my units out of right now. So once that granary is done, let's go ahead and drop a... Uh, do I already have that stuff in there? Could get a workshop in there. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to queue that up once the granary is done so I don't forget. I, I need to work on draft in that city because it's basically where my entire military is going to come out of with the exception of the mage lock cannons, which I can now make with uh, the war spoils um all right so yeah let's let's gather these guys together probably actually better to bring everyone up to this outpost here i think so you drop out that army or you can actually go here for now mm -hmm. i want the transmuter with you um a couple of my mage locks or at least one of them, probably an overseer too. So we'll add those guys. Uh -huh. uh, wait, what did I do here? Oh. I accidentally brought a hound master and not the hero. Oops. Mm -hmm. um, bring the hero. Mm -hmm. Might be okay to have an out, a hound master in there anyway. Uh -huh. And then that's just kind of all the extras. Yeah, I think I'm I'm good with that. Uh -huh. That seems like a decent army there. The hound masters still have their uses. So I will uh, keep one around, I suppose. All right, you guys all go here. Yeah. You can kind of all stack up like that. Um, uh -huh. And I guess I'll have her come down. Oh yeah, that's why I was gonna go after this. All right, let's go ahead and get this done. So if I uh, seem a little out of it, hmm, Ooh, what's this? Steve from accounting. I lose some money, but I get an exemplar, a tier four shield unit. I think I have to take that. I'm not going to get those every day. And that can swap out for, uh, yeah, okay, now the Hound Master's getting the boot, because that's. Yeah, that's really nice, and we're going to put that in her army. She's got a couple tier fours now. Uh, yeah, if I seem a little bit out of it tonight, that's because, well, I'm recording at a much different time. I normally record in the mornings, um, and I'm actually recording at like 10, 10.30 at night tonight, because uh, this weekend I, I forgot I got plans with my family on around Easter, um, and I uh, kind of forgot about that, but I had promised everyone I'd record, so I'm trying to fit it in at an unusual time. Um, so we can still get one episode out today, whenever you're watching this. It might post at an unusual time. Um, I think this guy's fine where he's at. And yeah, those are just all extras. I might send one of the scrap hermits off to the west, because I don't know if I have any shield units out here. The exemplar would be good too, but I got a feeling when I start clashing heads with yellow. I'm going to need all the help I can get. I've already hit blue pretty hard, so I'm not as worried about him. But if yellow hits me with the full force of everything they've got, that could be a problem. I do need more mage locks out there, though. I really do. Yeah, I don't have any left, actually. They all died in that last battle. Okay, all right. Yeah, so we're going to send... 
I'm gonna send two of them. Maybe these two that uh, are like the Dwarven Conquerors. Yeah, I'll send the, the two extras. Just to have some, some guns out there. And I've kind of got those guys everywhere. Do I have a uh, pikeman out here? Any melee? I've got one. Not a lot, but enough. All right, I'm going to leave the others here because I still think I'm probably going to need backup against yellow, but uh, at least those two dwarven ones can head off. All right, we finished researching that, and I actually don't know how because Steve's dead. How did I research that? I really don't know. Oh, summon storm spirit would be nice. Not particularly great considering I'm fighting a spirit dragon. Those guys have a spirit weakness, but aside from that, very good. Or I could take scry enemy. Hmm, this is a tough choice between these two actually. A scry enemy would be pretty useful to me. I think I gotta take the shield though, because I don't have any other shield unit. Where am I at in terms of the tomes? I've got horde, scrying, mayhem, and enchantment. And I picked up terramency and the dreadnought. Hmm. Does one of these have the iron golems? Which one of these has the iron golem in it? They're probably my favorite shield unit. I think it's... Artificing is the tier... Oh, wait, no. Artificing is the tier 2 iron golem. Okay. All right. Well, I don't really want to go get another tier 2 tome when I could be getting better one. So I'm going to take... I'm going to take these guys for now. I think that would be just to have... Actually, that's I, I think that's a really good choice because it's a summon. And I have a lot of mana. I've had a pretty good amount of mana for most of this game. Uh, okay, Jormag gets to be the governor over here. Uh, why is the city so grumpy? Domain. You guys haven't even done anything yet. And you're already cranky. Um, okay, I'm going to have to get him a farm. Oh, wait, the city's grown already. Okay, I can get... Those are the only forester options that I have in this city. So I'm going to want... I'm going to want to build a farm on one of these spots, but I can't. At least not right now. I wanted to build a farm and then... Uh, tavern. Although, does the tavern have a prerequisite? Because I'm not seeing it in here. What's the prerequisite to the tavern? The vendor... Oh, it's the first town hall upgrade. Okay, well... Oh, maybe they're cranky because Steve's dead. That could be it. Alright, for now we'll just do a storehouse um, to encourage growth a bit. On the next turn, Steve will be back. I can cast uh, I can cast Terraform spells then. Okay. Hero leveled up. That would be Jormag. Uh, we're just gonna give Jormag more fighting stuff. For some reason, I got a Chaos version of Jormag. Or I could change that, but oh yeah, I talked about that a little bit in the last episode. Decided I was just gonna keep it. So. Okay, let's take, uh, let's give Jormag some defense. I want him to have dragon scales, and then the next time he levels up, I'll get dragon scales, scales too, and get the resistance. want to, want to just turn him into a massive tank, kind of like I did in my other series with him. Okay, uh, we can end the turn, and I'm going to cross my fingers and pray that yellow doesn't, or blue, doesn't massively charge me with anything. Uh, did blue move down here? He's got a couple things, but nothing major. Once Jormag's army is patched up, I probably will try to knock out that derelict workshop. But part of me almost wants to keep it there because... Um, well, because I think it hurt blue. The last army blue sent in from that direction took a lot of damage on the way getting to me. So it's possible it's being more of a pain for blue than it is for me. So maybe I'll leave it for now. All right, uh, we need Earth Shatter. Okay, what's my K 
casting is 90. Okay, I can get most of it done. It'll be two turns before I can knock out the entire mountain range, or I could just take out that big chunk right there, which would pretty much get me through to where I want to go. Yeah, I'll just take that out on the next turn. Uh -huh. Does that do damage to units that are on it, though? Enemy, enemy armies suffer physical damage, so it wouldn't affect me. I can at least get started going over the mountain then. Uh, it doesn't really make a big difference. Yeah, it shouldn't hurt me, so I may as well. Just cautiously eyeing that area up there. I'm gonna put these guys on camp, because I'm checking these passes every turn anyway. And you guys uh -huh. keep on going. All right, Steve's back. Go forth, Steve. Oh yeah, and I have a fire giant coming this way too. So, we'll be in pretty good shape over here. I think I might grab another one of those. Oh wait, no, that was a rally of liege thing, so I can't right now. I could get blessed souls though. In my experience though, I've never really liked these guys that much. Okay, come on tooltip, I wanna stop, stop doing that. I wanna, there we go, gotta be quick. Deals damage to target unit, his target is condemned, deal double damage instead. They got Beacon of Hope. Can give units morale. They got a lot of defense, not much resistance, and they're just a shield unit. You know, I'll take one. I'll take one. Just I, I could use shields, so... Anything to protect those mage locks. Alright, well... I'm seeing quite a few red, <clears throat> excuse me, concerning red dots, so back up a little bit. Yeah, I had moved over here with the intention of going after that derelict workshop, but I'm beginning to think I don't want to. As, as long as it doesn't send stuff after me, I really don't care that it's there. I really care more about blue. In fact, I think I'm going to just so I don't risk getting cut off again, I'm going to actually move away from that and just leave it there. Unless it sends something after me. I actually can't remember if it was bothering me in previous episodes or not, but I don't think that one was. Alright, we got our first Ironclad. First tier 4. Well, not first tier 4. We got the Fire Giant and the Eagle Rider. But it's a good unit, nonetheless. And that one's also going to go out to help Steve. I'll make one more ironclad here and then probably switch to spamming mage locks and some other just uh, large scale numbers of units. I don't need a whole ton of tier fours right now. Although I am making really good Imperium income. I, I'm still going to want a decent chunk of that for um, other things. Uh, the granary is almost produced, but I kind of didn't want to... Wait, I never did boost that, did I? Wait, yeah, I did. I've got two foresters. I got three foresters in the city. So yeah, yeah, that's boosted. Okay. Back to DC. I may want to get the Apex Wizard Tower. I may as well. Now that I've actually got some expendable income. Infestation is sending invading. Ah, jeez, you guys again, really? No, I don't want to go all the way. Okay, hang on. Is it just those two birds? It would be really weird if it was, but... No, I really don't want to... Okay, I might have to pull that army back. And then go through here. Knock out a couple mountain ranges. Yeah, these things are going to be a problem. Alright, let me keep an eye on them and see if I can determine which army it is is moving at me. Because th that's a weird army, and I feel like there's hidden units in it that I can't see on desolate terrain. Though I'm not sure what those would be. Oh wait, are they going 
west. Well, whatever it was went west, so maybe I'm okay. Let's get rid of this mountain. Boom. Ah, there we go. That's a good uh -huh. feeling. Now we can just walk right in. As long as yellow is not walking right in. Okay. I will definitely be knocking out more mountains, but in the short term, I do need my sand spell again. There we go. I need farmland over here. But this is good enough for now. In fact, I'm going to have him set foot in here to try to draw some defenders over this way. Alright, we'll have this side reinforced in no time, and a few extras probably. Still nothing moving up on me, though. Maybe I should be moving up on them. It's just an outpost down there. There's an actual city over there. Might push from both directions. Alright. How's Denver doing? Looking at growth soon. Three turns, okay. Um, I'm gonna leave Jormag here for a minute. Oh yeah, I could still use more reinforcements out here because some of the units out here are just tier ones. You can do better than that. All right, uh, just go hang out with them, I guess. Okay. Yep, you're doing fine there. Mage Lock Cannon. It's doing fine. Oh, this one's can get out ahead a little more. The next mage lock I make in my capital needs to go the other direction. Speaking of my capital, it can grow again. I think I was planning on adding some more foresters. Yeah, around that Reaver Manufactorium. Uh, because it benefits from those. I already have three farms here, so yeah, I'm going to... I feel like there was something I was gonna else I was gonna do with the capital, like specifically. I've changed those to mines. Oh yeah, yeah. I knocked out. Okay, yeah, that was my plan. I had bit, I had changed some foresters to mines, so I was gonna get more foresters. I don't think I need them though. I think I built all built all the buildings that required foresters. That was part of the reason why I wiped those out in the first place. Um, that's a solid Imperium upgrade. It just basically decreases research costs. On average, um, technically randomly, but probably evens out. Uh, I'm going to want the siege projects. I don't think there's anything immediate that I need right now. Other than this, maybe. That actually could be useful. I'm going to take that. That'll give me a little bit more advanced warning if there's anything I need to be concerned about. Oh, I'm getting really close to the Bower. Five turns and I can get the Balor with power from slaughter, which could be fun. And I'm going, I am going to take another fire giant. Okay. Uh, that group probably going to attack me. I'm hoping the wandering group attacks on their own, not with the defending group, but we'll see. Sometimes it's kind of hard to tell how these things are going to behave. And then the other frustrating thing is there's a derelict workshop on the other side of that mountain range. There's just every single one of these uh, infestation pocket in it. It's got to knock down all the mountains. Okay, nothing from yellow yet, other than movement up there. Which I might. Okay, here we go. They did attack. Should be able to auto this, I would think. Other than the fire and brimstone. Ooh, I could have gotten 
really unlucky there if they had attacked. Oh, wait, it wouldn't have mattered. There's only two of them. Okay, never mind. We're fine. Uh, sure. I will accept the quest. Why not? Um, I want an outpost around here so that I can heal. Also want these hound masters out of here. They can go to Steve. I've got enough hound masters over here. They can go to the western front. Um, okay, let's go ahead and earth shape sand here. Yeah, that works. And then I can just put an outpost down here. Technically, infestations do not count as enemy territory, so you can slap down an outpost and still heal just fine. I just hope they don't send spawn like another stack and come after me on this turn. All right. And there's Steve. He can stay with Xanons. He can run out a little bit further ahead. All right, what do we got here? Another shield guy, some soothers, possibly a larger army there. This might be derelict workshop units, but it's hard to tell for sure. Um, I think I would rather, I just want to keep my observer here for now. Unless they send in a very sizable army, they're going to hit some much stiffer resistance than they had last time. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, you have a good shield unit to go out to the western front, too. Probably, let's see. Do these guys have any specific resistances? They might have spirit resistance. They do. Might have been better to send him in this direction against the spirit dragon. But he might also have stuff with spirit resistance, and I think these guys do... Mostly spirit damage, so it might even out. He's already headed west, so I'll let him, let him keep going for now. After this, I do want a couple more mage locks. We can spend money like there's no tomorrow at the moment. Uh, I do want a watchtower there. Keep an eye on what that uh, infestation's doing. Got the Wizard Tower Apex here, I think, is what just finished. Um, probably should take the Materium Bolstering Matrix. I think I'm just going to take all the Materium stuff that kind of seems to be the way this one's going. Be Materium or Chaos. One of the two, really. Whatever has more. I think the buff one doesn't really matter that much, because... It's the more the damage one that I kind of am after. Yeah, we'll take Materium, I guess, for now. We can change that later. But may as well grab this expensive stuff while I can. All right, Vegas can build an estate hall. It can build an additional farm. I'll take the extra farm, because I want that mint. Let's go ahead and get gold income more firmly secured. I know I have enough right now, but that won't always be the case, so I'm just going to keep building gold structures whenever I can. I think... Uh, Whoops, I meant to start channeling another spell there. I misclicked and hit the end turn button. There he is, coming back for round two with a couple heroes. A little chilly. Oh wait, he's, uh, is he an ice dragon or is he? No, he is electric. Or has electric damage. Alright, and then these two I want to go to this side of the army. Or war. 
Ah, okay, there they are. Two gold golems already. Crap. Okay. You know what? I might... Do I want to try to defend this with huh? armies of mediocre units plus maybe these guys if they can get there in time? I'm not even sure if my main army could get it, but they're so close to that being able to knock out that great bird nest. And there's not really that good of defenders in there. My armies are a little beat up, though. Hmm. I might let my city fall and then take it back. It's not really a hugely important city just yet, so. And this guy's been known to randomly turn around. Plus, maybe I can try to lure him to come after this thing. Hey, I'm up here. Come and get me. If I can just use these guys to just knock this group out. I think they could do it. I mean, they're not at tip-top shape, but they've got some healing stuff. And I just want that great bird nest going. I'm going to go for it. I'm not going to wait around. Right, whoever's fastest, that'd be you, Kevin. Nope, hang on. We didn't get everybody in. I mean, it says it's a safe battle. Uh, I lost a mage lock. But... I captured a phoenix. I think I'm going to take that. Yes, please. Might keep the storm spirit, too. And I got the Anka the Phoenix quite appropriately. Unit comes back to life. Take, take all that reward. Take all that. That's all good stuff. Now, where did that food go to? Did it go to Vegas? Or did it go to this city? It went to that city. Of course it did. Uh, let's pop down a farm there. And... Probably... I'll have them start working on a vendor. I would like to have them build anything that gives city defense, but they can't. Not yet, so maybe actually just producing merchandise is fine for now. Um, I will add a forester here, actually. Now that I think of it, I should have used both of those to connect everything, because then my armies could have moved through the territory faster. Uh -huh. How far can these guys move? Uh -huh. Okay, I'm going to move what troops I can up here. They probably won't be enough to slow these guys down, but it's worth a try. All right, good job, Kevin. You got a new pet bird. Why don't you go ahead and send one of the extra mage locks out here with them? Because they are severely lacking in the having mage locks department. And then you can go with Kevin. And then I, I'm sure I could fit a tier three in somewhere here. Probably in place of the overseer, maybe. Oh. The AI is better at remembering to pick this stuff up than I am. I probably wouldn't have even thought to try to get that phoenix. Hmm. 
with at least one mage lock in each group, and I kind of want the healer, so I actually think the shock guy is going to get left out a little bit for now. Um, although I do think he would be better than the stone spirit, with the exception of the fact that the stone spirit can heal. Yeah, we're just going to keep these groups where they are for now. Um, and then on the next turn, I think I'm going to knock out this mountain here so that these armies can get back quicker. And then you can just... This guy can just kind of go wherever. All right. That's good for now. Got the tank on the way. This dragon's going to be in for a rude awakening next time he comes around. Although, he'll probably still do a decent amount of damage, because I don't think Reavers are particularly well suited to fighting stuff that does electrical damage, but... Well, at least the mages are squishy and won't handle cannonballs well. I guess it kind of goes both ways. <laughs> and just momentarily, I am going to send those Houndmasters back up, since Yellow seems to want to push kind of getting ready to defend against round two, but if I can weather this storm, I think I could push on both fronts. All right, that outpost is looking good. Uh, no one else has grown, I think. Hero leveled up. Oh, Kevin leveled up. Good job, Kevin. All right, what do I want for you? I think I need to start getting some army leadership bonuses. Strength training. Particularly stuff like strength training, endurance training. I think I'm going to start trying to grab some of those, because those make a huge difference. Particularly endurance training is easily one of my favorites. Alright, we'll send this tank up north. And I do have this carry-on bird, which is going to be a scout. In fact, I'm going to have you go this way, yeah. over to Texas. Okay, Summon Stone Spirit is ready. I don't really have the casting points to do anything about it, but it's ready, all right. Um, I think I'm going to hold off. You know what? I'm going to hold off on, I'll hold off on till next turn on selecting a province with this. Because then I'll just get this big mountain one after I level it, and then my armies can get through it faster. That should work. Okay, you got a storehouse. That's great. Um, yeah, just producing merchandise there. DC got the Materium Bolstering Matrix. I'm going to get the Materium Amplifier Lens. Yeah, any Materium debuff spells inflicts under defense. That's pretty good. Um, what's the Chaos one do? Misfortune. I think I would rather have the Sundered Defense. Works better with my build, I think. And, uh, yeah, we'll just make more cannons, I guess. Might be worth actually keeping some War Spoils around. Since those can be handy and, uh... Well, actually, no. I can go ahead and build another cannon, because I'll be getting war spoils from uh, from fighting enemies, and so I'll be getting war spoils to use for converting their units at the end of battles, regardless. Okay, how's Texas doing? Um, we need a Scholar's Guild, probably. Yeah, knowledge is good. Let's get some of that. Also, I may have forgotten to select a research on the last turn. Uh, I have picked up some... Okay, that's good. <clears throat> I think I just want to buff my shields, honestly. Especially since it gives them resistance, which is something I kind of need right now. I'll stake spells... Oh, I, I meant to... Crap, I meant to um, lock destabilized mana core in so I knew it would show up again. 
Dang. Well, I'm just going to blame that on it being late and me being tired. Not my fault. Totally circumstantial. I think the bad planning uh, for this weekend <laughs> might have been my fault, though. Okay. Yeah, why do I keep thinking no? Right click. We're not building anything in airport this turn. If I could build a stone wall, I would. If these guys would just turn around once more, that'd be great. I'm not scared of this army, especially since their dragon leader isn't involved in it. The gold golems actually aren't that bad if you kind of handle them carefully. But but that dragon leader of theirs, that, that guy would be scary. Nope, they're going in for the attack this time. And they will have the city in one turn. You know what? They can take it. I will take it right back. I'm going to get back up there in time. Um, yeah, this will work. Or it should. Mountains are going to start collapsing. That's a good feeling. And then, because that connects, I can technically do this. And then just like that, my good army's almost all the way back. Um, you. I want you to build a road. Right here. And here. And I guess... Actually... Wait, is that already a road? I think that might already be a road that... Yeah, it is. Okay, the terrain just looks weird. Okay, we're good. Um, yeah, fall back to here, because you guys are not going to be able to stop that group. We're going to let them take the city, and I'll take it right back. It sh this should work. Yeah, that's good enough for now. They'll heal in my territory up the rest of the way. And may as well get this guy in here with a group too, so he can heal. Oh, he didn't need healing. And I kind of want you to just poke your head over the mountain range and start looking around. Oh, good. Uh, my ironclad is here. See, I've got a cannon. Where, where do I want to fit this guy in? He definitely deserves a spot. Um, kind of want to keep one mage lock in each group. Thinking I might drop the overseer in favor of a big freaking tank. For now, at least. All right, and almost have Fire Giant and other cannon there too. He's hitting me just a couple turns earlier than I was hoping. All right, I need to mix up those cannons to get them kind of diversified around the uh, area. So I will add one here to that group. And that, wait, where'd he go? Okay, I don't know where the dragon went. I'm sure it's fine. All right, my army should be able to make it there on the next turn. The only problem is, will that still count as my territory? I think it will. I think they have to absorb it before it no longer counts as my territory. I think until then it's considered enemy territory to them. 
I'm gonna send this guy out Steve's way. There's quite a bit challenging yellow, and I think I should be okay over there. Warding metals, ward increases resistance. Grants enchanted units, warden. Okay, that works on also shield units. Okay, that's great. That's plus three resistance also on shields. I want that. Especially since I can make or summon stone golems now. And have quite a weird variety of shield units. If I can start stacking resistance on them, that would be awesome. Denver can annex another province. What are we going to get here? Probably should get... Yeah, let's get that uh, Serpent Cavern. I don't even know what it does. Plus two mana per quarry in City Domain. Well, that's the only one. But I uh, guess it's better than nothing. If nothing else, it's Imperium. So I'll take it. Okay. Uh, and then I want... Probably a Summon Stone Spirit. Go ahead and channel one of those up. All right. Have fun capturing the city. It won't last long. And now that I finally got that mess behind me, cleared out. Shouldn't have to worry about going backwards anymore. Oh, you cowards. You hit and run. Okay, I see how it is. Yeah, that's not gonna last long, buddy. You don't like it, come do something about it. Just make sure that I'm out of range with these guys so they don't get picked off. Okay. Can make another pretty good army here. And maybe just throw a Hound Master in for good measure, why not? All right, now he's got to go after that. Uh, you know what? Maybe I can... All these guys are here. Maybe I can... Because uh, I've got walls back, so they can't hit me right away. Let me go ahead and clear this thing. Okay, I figured that shouldn't be too hard. Is that useful for anybody? Just extra damage to fiends and undead. Not really helpful right now. Okay, I think I just got a production boost. I'm going to use that to grip the vendor and grab the granary, probably. Unless the workshop leads to stone. What leads to stone walls? State hall, library. I don't know when those show up. Might just be a town hall thing, but it's not telling me. Alright, just grow in size, I suppose. Get granary and then I'll be a, it'll be time for a town hall upgrade when that's done. Okay. You can back out for a minute. I'll add you. Is there anyone else that's going to make it here on this turn? Yeah, we got the shield unit. You can go with Steve. So can that gunman. I'll add you over here. I feel like Steve's army should have had more than that going their way. Oh, hey, there's that quest. I wasn't even paying attention to where it was. I, I really don't care that much. Um, Unless this guy's not going to make any moves on me, in which case I might send... Maybe I can send a crappy army of extras to go deal with that. I probably could. Because now I've got a bunch of extra units over here that really aren't doing anything. Yeah, sure. Let's go overwhelm them with numbers. Uh-huh. 
What's the worst that could happen? Oh. Watch me, like, need, desperately need reinforcements. I need to open up a pass through the mountains, like, here. Because this is all connected now, but that's... That's several turns of terraforming. I could do it though, it'd be four. And it would be nice to have a road going right through there. Yeah, you can go with them too, I guess. I'll probably have these guys meet that group over here whenever they get here. Kind of wish this guy would just throw something at me because I would like to hit him heal and then launch a counter attack but don't know if he's going to make it that easy. He was coming through the south though. Maybe I could push back in the same direction, building outposts as I go. Uh, it's kind of hard to tell if I should go north or south. I think either way is good, but I feel like if I go north, he'll just hit me from this direction. If I like try to push through the derelict workshop. It's honestly kind of hard to tell. Or I could just start punching mountains out and go directly at him. That, actually, I think I like that idea the best. I need to knock down a lot of mountains. But this would be the most direct route, both at him and back if I need to defend. If I just knock out this mountain here and then build an outpost on it and then knock out that mountain there. Or I could build an outpost on that one too. Switch this to not summon stone spirit right now and go earth shatter instead. Because I'm going to need it in more places. Yeah, I think I'm going to open that up. There are a few extra better troops though that I would really like to get out here. And Mostly those guys, once they can catch up. I think once they get there, then I'll be ready to power through there. I might go ahead and get the party started without them. So I've got some pretty solid units in Steve's army. Between Steve and Chort Mag, they've got some good stuff. I would like to maybe add the, uh, maybe add the tank to Chort Mag's group. And keep the gremlin with Steve, because Steve's got a very powerful shot. So I'll do that. That will work for now. I'll leave those guys a turn away so they don't get jumped. And I got a mage lock of the IRS, another one. We'll send him down Steve's way too. What does Denver need? Maybe... Maybe more research or happiness. Either one would be good. I'll take the Arcane Institute first and then probably the bathhouse after that. I'm already kind of exhausting my extra gold. So may want to keep an eye on that. Um, Think about how many more units I want to build. I know I want some more Dragoons, so I am going to go order, order up a couple of them. But I need to be thoughtful about what I fill out the remainder of my armies with.
I think yellow should turn around and fight me, but they're too much of a coward. I could probably take that eternal bedchamber and uh, just get more territory as I push forward. What I normally prefer to do is just build an outpost somewhere along their borders. Oh man, that's actually his capital right there. I could really threaten this guy. Because that's... I think this army out here is the most powerful group that I have. Uh -huh. Alright, let's have... Let's put together a good group. Probably the best units I've got. And, uh... Which would likely include the fire giant. Um... Huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we'll send Kevin. And we'll send giant eagle bird thing. Transmuter. This is uh, just a bunch of tier 4 spam at this point, but I'm fine with that. And then maybe somebody with a gun. Yeah, how about you? All right, how are you guys, can you guys handle this? Um, low risk battle, or I could feed them a population from the nearby city. What is this? Hang on. The set only fools would disturb the eternal bedchambers of that name. Uh, this, however, does not stop Kevin from IT. <laughs> Kevin from IT will not be stopped. Um, okay, welcome intruder. Have you come to reignite the flames of our passion with your essence? What? Hang on. Okay. I need to read this for context. In the center of the room, Kevin finds a large altar with several preserved corpses draped around a decorated queen looking like sleeping lovers even after centuries of being buried. Suddenly the decorated corpse stirs and opens her eyes her undead lovers following suit okay that is creepy and then okay so the chaos choices to attempt to seduce the undead uh i need to know what these debuffs do all defending units become weakened until the end of battle if i'm good if i succeed the other one is just Oh, the downside of the other one is that I lose Chaos Affinity, and I don't want to lose Chaos Affinity. Or I could just feed them my people. I'm going to just fight them. Okay, no Reapers. This actually looks like it should be fairly easy for an army like this. Whoa, okay. Well, I wonder if it says... This might be another one of those sarcophagus ones. Yeah, it is. That probably... I feel like the AI doesn't handle as well so either that or that hero can do something insane that i'm not aware of no she's a level one yeah the only way i lost this is if the sarcophagus things just got way out of hand all right well we're not gonna let that happen this time Shoot it? No. <laughs> Dang, I kind of need them to be able to hit that. I should have shot a different one with them. Oh, wait, maybe they can? Okay, they can. Never mind, we're good. Okay, that unit can't do anything on this turn. happening. Oh, volcanic eruptions are happening in here. 
and I can't see them. That's a problem. That's a fairly substantial problem. They're breaking, oh, they're breaking the sarcophagus is open. Oh, okay. I see how this went south. I'm gonna have a lot of extra stuff to kill in this fight, guys. This is more than I bargained for. Um, fortunately, these units are pretty weak. So I should be able to knock them out fairly easily, but uh, this is gonna get messy. My storm spirit is on fire. Well, I'm just gonna try to control to open as many of these as I can. Maybe I can lure them into sending something down to attack him. Crap, that's not where I wanted him to spawn. a lot of extra units to contend with. Uh, I could immobile, maybe I could immobilize some of their stuff, although I don't really want to immobilize their stuff. I want, I want them to get over here and get this over with as quickly as possible. Um, got mental mark. That actually could be pretty useful here. Let's drop that on this group. I probably should have gotten my shield guy out of the fire. Okay, now I can see these. Fortunately, that one's not going to set off any tombs. And I don't think that one is either. Okay, I may have been wrong about that. They're not giving me a, like, a heads up before they just kind of show up and explode. Wish you could shoot something else. It's fine. The, they're making their way over to me, so I just need to keep doing what I'm doing, and everything will probably be fine. Okay, that could be pretty nice. Especially since I just marked them and lowered their resistance. But that would require sending the eagle into the middle of all that crap. And it would break another tomb or two. Yeah, maybe now is not the best time to do that. Let's just try to keep the fight controlled. Uh, maybe you can... Wait, conjure runestone. Summons a fire runestone or a target location. I actually don't know what that is. Oh, it's a tower. Okay, um, that seems like a good enough spot for it. Maybe that'll draw some enemies in. Maybe Kevin needs to fire a mage lock at that guy. Kevin can't do that unless he goes through the fire. That's a little bit of a problem. Are there units within two? You know what? That seems. This seems like a good time to do this. Although I probably wouldn't have left his back turned intentionally. Just a pursuer. All right, we can go ahead and, and just hit him. That's fine.
Might use a uh, mental mark on these guys again. Maybe those two back there, actually. Stop waking up all the sleepy undead, please. A spider. Um, okay, so you can easily take that out, or close enough. Anyway. I want you to break that. Pretty sure that hero's dead this turn. All you need to do is slow him down. That was all, I just needed to kill the one unit, I think. That's a significantly different result. <laughs> so I could take a frost shield, add her to my recruitment pool, or get good, good guy points. Or like half a turn of research. Honestly, I almost might take the good guy points just to try to generate more positive random events. I don't think I have much of a use for the frost shield. Let me take another look at it. Melee attackers take four frost damage. I don't know. I don't think this choice really matters a whole lot. I'll take the good guy points. I'll probably take those if I don't have anything better to do, just to try to keep my alignment from going too far evil. Um, because the le because I, I don't like having the bad random events, and you get those more often if you're an evil alignment. Wait, I didn't lose something, did I? Or am I just not counting correctly? Or did I gain something? Huh? My units aren't adding up to where I thought they would be. I think I had Kevin and that bird. Mm -hmm. I must have gotten an extra unit from something. I think it might be this guy. Because I didn't think I had an overseer in this group. Alright, well, we need to get everybody back into an mm -hmm. army. So just wherever people fit best. These guys don't have a shock unit, so uh, that's going to be a giant guy. These guys don't have... They have a shield, they've got shock, they've got skirmisher. Two skirmishers, actually. Let's give them a mage lock. Go here. And they don't have a shield, so I will give them one. Guess I don't need to move people back anymore. Huh? Yeah. Okay, that's at least under my control now. And we'll see if Yellow makes another... gets nosy again, makes another pass at me. Um, feel like they probably won't until they bring their big guns down. By big guns, I mean their leader. I hope I don't regret opening up that mountain pass when I do it. Okay, good. I got warding medals done. I want to cast that as soon as possible. Oh boy, but I get the choice of a new tome. I actually haven't really thought this far ahead. Probably should have taken a look at these before starting tonight. 
I love the Tome of the Golden Realm because I think Gold Touch is just really good. Um, mostly just two resistance is great. Reagent Refinery is nothing too special. The Gilding Blast is good. I like Gold Golems, but I already have a Tier 4. And Luxury Markets I, is great for in a pinch. Alternatively, I could go the uh, Demon Gate route and... Wait, hang on. Oh, I missed... Okay, Tome of Devastation was the one that gets Warp Raids. I don't really know what I want here. Severing Golems are a great Tier 5. This is one of the newer Tomes that I'm not as familiar with. Uh, I can Disrupt Enemy Units. All Shield makes it so... When Okay, that provides status resistance. I don't think I'm going to go with that one. The Crucible is a good one. Meteor Arrows. And I think that, yeah, that only affects enemies. Makes base physical. Oh, you know what? That's not quite as good. Oh wait, it does say effects are increased for non-repeating attacks, so it would still help the mage locks. Don't know how much, but just because of the sheer number of units, like look at that, 22 range units in army, 12 skirmishers, that's gonna affect 34 units. I find it hard to pass that up. What's the Great Foundry do? 10 gold, five draft, three gold per adjacent mind. Fortified Crucible is good for city defense. Pyroclastic Eruption can turn stuff desolate. And then just a good big AoE fire spell. I can't do super growth. It conflicts with spawn kin, so that tomes out. Dome of Dragons. I haven't really kind of built around creating and evolving dragons. Probably won't do that. That'll be a future playthrough. And none of these are really calling to me. The Inquisitor's Mark would... would affect a lot of units. All right, so I think I've narrowed it down to either the Golden Realm or the Crucible, both of which are Materium. This would be Resistance. This would be more Offense. I just wish I knew how much, it says effects are increased for non-repeating attacks. It would be nice to know by how much but I think I could see this with the sheer number of range units I have. I could see that stacking up quite a bit. So I think I'm going to get the Tome of the Crucible and go with Meteor Arrows. I, it just seems too hard to pass up given... Ah, crap, it didn't give me Meteor Arrows. Of fire and earth streaming inexorably toward your enemies. I don't really... Uh, fiery nuts. Okay, I'm probably going to have to randomize this. Is reshaped when it flows. There it is. I got lucky. I got lucky. All right, cool. I'll take luck. I'll take dumb luck when I can get it. Won't complain about that. All right, I'm going to start uh, sending a few units here to deal with this. So I can knock that quest out, and then everything down here can kind of just go. I'm, I think I'm just going to throw all of it at Jormag all at once. I just, it looks like he's got stuff that's going to come through here. I want to keep an eye on this for a second. See how or where they're moving around. All right, finally sending something my way. I just, I kind of wanted him to do this. 
I want to hit what I like to do with these really powerful computer opponents is let them hit you, like lure them into hitting you, break their army really bad, and then go after their cities. Which, there's two right there. Gosh, these are close, aren't they? Hey, a notorious god ears aid, Mr. Whiskers. I will welcome your aid in the future. Well, Mr. Whiskers is in the recruitment pool. We are getting a really weird group of bad guys here. <laughs> we got Steve, we got Jormag, and we got Mr. Whiskers. Uh... And these guys are around. Earth Shatter's ready. Do I want to go out and take them on Desolate Terrain? I kind of think I do because... They're pretty beat up. My units are in fairly good shape, except for the Phoenix, which technically would resurrect if it died. Plus, they have a bad stack formation that I can take advantage of here. They'll probably pull the army with the transmuters in. Yeah, I gotta go for this. Uh -huh. I would like to turn that terrain to sand before doing this, but... Beggars can't be choosers, I guess. It's a low-risk battle. See what the auto says. I lost my gremlin. That's not worth refighting a whole battle battle over. I can get another one of those easily enough. Hey, welcome to the army. Um, now move. Go here. Hmm. I think we can knock out that other group there. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Mm. Uh -huh. Just no hero losses or anything crazy. Okay, that's something. They killed Kevin. We can't have that. They don't get to kill Kevin. I guess. Kevin was a little low on hell. Wait, that's not Kevin. Kevin's the one over here. Yeah, Kevin's the one with the pirate outfit. You know, now that I think of it, if anyone at work is going to dress up as a pirate, it's going to be the guys in the IT department for sure. Yeah, this, this fits. This fits so perfectly. All right, well... Force them to come to me. I would like to get some healing out on this fight. Uh -huh. I don't really have a whole lot of it. Um, I do have a resurrection spell. That's going to come crashing down right in the middle of the battlefield. You have a pretty big restore spell. Okay, you both do. What about you, Kevin? Nobody has the Mass Rejuvenation, which would be pretty handy right now. I don't really have any healing in this army, so uh, we're just going to have to make do with what we've got. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. This hard side over here doesn't really even have anything good for defense. Well, I can bring this guy up, so I guess it'll be all right. Just want to make sure that nothing can get in the face of the tank on this turn. And I can, I can leave those cannons back a little ways. I don't have to have them right up front, so. I think they're actually fine where they're at. 
Dave can go there. He's got his rifle at the ready. The dragon's the only one that can kind of get at stuff. I don't really like that. Yeah, I don't... I'll, I'll send those guys up later. I'll hold those ones back. We'll bring the mage locks up. They would go well there. And the transmuter. We want to stay just out of range of the dragon. And we'll keep Sharon back there. This giant can go wherever the heck he wants. He's a giant. He's spamming some spells. Alright, I have to use some of my spells on healing. Hey. Okay, um, first things first, I need to heal some stuff. I have no healing spells. I am not known for my healing, apparently. Uh, we're gonna have to keep Sharon well out of harm's way on this one, I think. What are the odds of stunning here? We got a couple 66%. That's not terrible. I'll take those odds. Okay, I got both the, uh, both the dragons. Perfect. Okay, I'll come back to that in a minute. First, I want to go over here. not what I wanted. I get I always get the I get these fire elementals more often than any other elemental and they're not the ones that I want. I guess I could do this. Do an explosive phase or I could just do that. These guys are too hard to hit. I want a mark, mental mark on these two. Oh wait, I might need to save something for that golem that's closing in on me. I think the first order of business is probably getting that defender off of my cannon, which I didn't think he could even reach my cannon on this turn, so. Not sure how that works. What's the chance of seducing? 44% chance to dominate. Mm -hmm. This would cancel his retaliation, but then the tank... Oh, it could still use direct fire. I want to use the barrage. Oh, hang on, let's try this. Cancels retaliation, removes hasten. So the tank can at least back up. Now I can do this. Okay, I can do that. Jeez, this stuff's tanky. It's got a lot of really tough stuff here. This actually, I'm starting to see why I lost stuff in this battle. This is not an easy fight. set some stuff on fire and start doing status effects. The guns are the only thing I can rely on. All right, I want to get rid of the gold golem. So we're going to designate tar... Why can't I designate target on that? What? Okay, I don't like that very much. 
All right, help with this group then. Get 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 rid of these guys. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just let that guy hit me. Uh -huh. I could do this. Push him back, and then I could do a mental mark like I was initially thinking, but I could hit all three of them with it. It'll give these guys better odds to hit, which is something they kind of need. I'll take that flank on those guys. They were being very, very tough. They're distracted now, which means they'll anything is a flank attack against them. That's a kill if I want it. That's a kill if I want it. I want that one. That shield guy's a problem. Okay. That's darn near a kill. I could just get a little bit more on that pike. In fact, the phoenix could take it because he's distracted. I don't have to worry about a counter attack. All right. Um, and then, okay, that that mess up there is at least kind of dealt with. Uh, I need to really get rid of the gold golem, but I'm worried about that stuff on this side. I need to do some damage to this unit. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I want to keep this hero alive and safe. Whoops. Uh, the healing ability is... I keep forgetting that. It takes all three action points. Okay, use Mark on that unit. Actually, I probably should have used it on the one in the back. Nuts. Okay, um, then use healing on this guy. I'd like to keep him alive. I need you to go hit that one. Need more damage output over there. Okay. Oh, I can so nearly kill that dragon. I think what I'm going to do is put him here. And just do that. We'll save his gun for later. I, I really don't know what this guy's going to do. But I'm just going to start wearing, trying to wear him down. See, Mark doesn't work on him either. These guys have weird immunities. Oh, they just, they're completely immune to all status effects. Okay. That's not good for me. Okay, then uh, shoot it until it stops moving is the new plan. I don't have to worry about the dragon counter-attacking on this turn, so I'd rather keep him where he's at. And then maybe put you next to him on defense to try to buy the guys with the guns a little bit more time. You're okay where you're at. Alright. That's about the best I can do here, I think. Phoenix, if it goes down, I'll get another chance. It'll get back up. Okay, good. It failed the guild. 
but my Eagle Rider's getting in a little trouble. At least he turned around, though. I can still flank him. Okay, that wasn't terrible. That was not terrible at all. Now I can get some decent flank attacks in here. In fact, I can just make sure that thing dies, because I he's not immune to status effects. Uh, let me. I'm gonna work from the top down up here, though. I, I'm. Oh wait, can you still do your teleport? Because this would be the perfect time. He's got to move to do it. Would he die in the process? Or could I use my? Could I use something to break their guard? Uh, he's the only one who I can, but that's fine. Canceling his retaliation is good, too. Okay, so shrapnel shot gets bleeding. Ammunition incendiary shot is fire damage. Sundering shot lowers defense. His chance to hit is so dang low. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna shoot this thing with these guys. Oh, I thought that would kill him. Why did he not die? smash that hero, please. First strike retaliation. Oh, good gosh. That hero is dangerous. Maybe I could just uh, toss a fire tower over there and that might distract him. Okay, still haven't had to use any spells yet. Pretty bummed out that this guy didn't die, though. So now I gotta do something about him. Mm -hmm. Alright, Kevin. Need you to carry your weight here, bud. Oh, hey, this'll work. Okay, I should be able to... Oh, he didn't even do a counterattack. Okay. Okay, well, looking good. They might route. That would be really good for me here. Um, There's nobody standing next to him if I miss... Okay, I guess he could hit the pikeman technically. But... I might take that chance. Catch this guy in a quake. Yes, I can. Okay. There. Iron Golem down. Uh -huh. Alright, now they're falling apart over here. Yeah, go after the archers, I think. Yeah, go get him, Kevin. Just go into melee for this one. I'll have these guys move up and... Why can't they use, uh... Oh, 
Okay, now they can. For some reason, that was blocked out the last time I tried. Should have marked before Kevin hit him. I keep forgetting to do marked in the correct order. So that I benefit from focused aggression. I think I'm going to have these two start gearing up for a run at that hero out there. Kind of do a scary amount of damage to them. You know, have that hero stay in the back. There's no reason to risk her at this point. Um, I'll go ahead and take all my nearby units. Encouraged or whatever. You defend. And I end the turn. I don't think I lose anyone here except for possibly the Phoenix, but if it goes down. I kind of figured he'd roast that guy. Oh, I didn't see them down there. Dang it. Ah, nuts. Okay, I can get him back. Phoenix will come back on his own. I have one hero that can revive. Okay, I have one hero that can revive those guys. Did not see this sneaky little guy down here. Sir. You must stop. Okay, I need to pin her down. She's useless if I get units on both sides, so and I think I can do that without too much trouble. I'll kill him, go ahead. Yeah, I think I could get out there with the shield with this, uh, the bird. This should work. As long as they don't have sprint. And they don't. So the worst they could do is like a quick stab attack. So I'm going to take you and go out here. And you are going to go here and we're going to pin them in place. There we go. Need to get this guy into a halfway decent spot. He can start helping. And then it's just that group in the middle. Mark them. Have a terrible shot to hit. I think I'm just going to punch him a bunch. Heroes down, all right. Good stuff. Archer's trying to retreat, too late for them. And then I think it's just these two. probably go kill them now but I am not even going to think about risking it with this unit I need to get Kevin down there because he's the other one with the revive spell and I need this to happen before the end of the battle so Keep an eye on them. They're taking damage over time. They're down to 12 health, so it's getting a little close. But if I can make it one more turn. No. I need you to stay here. Oh, crap, they're going to get out. And Kevin's not close enough to... Oh, wait, yeah, he is. Okay. He's just within range. Okay, I got my guy back. 
Excellent. I think they're not going to make it. Maybe, maybe they will. Being evasive. Probably because they're in terrain. That benefits them. Okay, we'll take that 70%. That's, that's a graze. Okay. As long as I can at least get a graze on this shot, I think we've got him. Yep, we got him. No running away for you. Man, that last stack was tough. Who are we missing? Oh yeah, you. Bye. <laughs> I forgot about that unit twice in the course of those fights. Okay, nobody needed to die there. Excellent. I guess it did pull in an army. It did pull in an army from up there that I was not thinking about being pulled in. So that's partially on me for underestimating that battle. Uh, let's see. I need. I need earth shape sand. Um, I'm not going to be able to get it. All right, well, let's just get anyone who can get back into the city in for some healing. Uh, these guys just are going to have to wait another turn. Okay, uh, at least we kind of punched yellow in the face pretty hard. Um, blue's coming in for round two. We have earth shatter is ready, so I can knock out this mountain range over here at any time. Oh, Blue's also got stuff coming from this angle, too. Okay, they're they're hitting me from a couple directions at once. That's fine. This is more or less what I wanted them to do. My plan is let these armies come in. I wipe them out, hopefully. And then as soon as they're dead, I blow up this mountain range and go straight at their cities. And then suddenly I go from being on defense to offense. That's how it all works in my head. Uh, we'll see how it, all, how it all works in practice. But guys... It is uh, nearly midnight, and um, I'm not used to recording this late, so I'm going to call it here. Thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, this episode may post at an unusual time. If so, you, I guess you all know why. But thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you have comments or feedback, leave them down below. I will read through all of it and respond to most, if not all of it. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate it. Let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next episode. Special thanks to all my Patreon supporters, including Tier 3 supporters Blitz, Brayden, Dawson Horner, Jimbro, Roderick, Sarah Feingold, and Tibian Army. Thanks so much, everybody.